It is a righteous and a permissible thing for God's people to look at the degradation they see around them and cry over the loss of so great a blessing as America. For all of her faults, America's influence has encouraged democratic over totalitarian government, freedom of religious worship, free market economic systems and opportunity, and charitable benevolence unlike the world has ever seen. These realities alone have limited oppression and suffering for untold millions, even billions, over the last hundred years. This nation has been a rock of goodness for so many, in spite of our faults and failures, and we have many. I fear we in this nation, as those around the world, do not fully comprehend the loss we are presently experiencing. Something great is passing away. And we don't even see it. Our own citizens, many of which criticize and malign their homeland, have no idea the blessing God has bestowed upon them simply by allowing them to be born Americans. Our grandchildren will not know the nation that we knew. Our citizens have grown up in a nation where they can choose whatever career they desire without fear of government interference. Go to Afghanistan and see if you can do that. Go to Cuba and see if you can do that. Go to Russia and see if you can do that. We benefit from generous educational and financial assistance. We enjoy the protection of police and courts with little fear of the same. We go about our business with absolute freedom of choice to do as we please. What a human travesty that so many stab and strike and cut as a nation so benevolent and so blessed as the United States of America. It is a crime. Oh, great God in heaven, crush us under the weight of the loss we are enduring before our very eyes. Entrench our faces with tears for the demise of the greatest land of freedom that has ever existed upon your earth. 